What is up? Welcome back to another video. And if you are new here, I am Luke Dombrowski. This is my channel where I have a bunch of aquariums and ponds. What I do with them is I get new fish for them, I show you guys how to decorate them, and I also show you guys feeding the fish that are in my aquariums and ponds and their growth. But today we're getting a new aquarium, 180 gallon aquarium. So I'm gonna throw you guys back to a few days ago when I got the top for it and the sand for it. And after we do all that, I'm gonna head back to my house and set up the aquarium. And here we are. This is gonna be the piece of Appliances, plexi. Appliances, you have a customer waiting at your desk. Appliances, you have a customer waiting at your desk. Really? All right, but this is gonna be the piece that we're getting right here. We're gonna have them cut it here. This is not how clear it is. It's obviously gonna be a little bit more clear than that. There's just two pieces on the side that um, cover it from it getting scraped up while it's inside of there. So. I guess we press that button over there. I'm gonna lay this back down right here, but. And now we wait. We got it. All right, so they're gonna cut this right here for us. I will film it for you guys, and then we're gonna be getting sand also for the 180 gallon aquarium. All right, so we got the two pieces now and we're gonna be heading outside to get the pool filter sand. That hurt, but there you guys are and um, Right here, what you guys are sitting on is the pool filter sand that I'm gonna be buying. I stopped at Lowe's and I was looking at it and it was $25 for a 25 pound bag, but I don't think it was the same exact stuff that is here. I think this is a lot better stuff. This is just the Quick Crete. I'm pretty sure that's what you call it, but the Quick Crete pool filter sand is like $5 for a 50 pound bag and I'm probably just gonna get one or two. Probably two just to have, just in case I need to set up another aquarium. There's one and other one right here. Oh. All right, let's see how it fits. Perfect. Perfectly on there. This side is a little bit short. It goes under and that's because this side has all of that right there. But it's fine, it's not like it's gonna be that big of a deal. The only thing that's gonna be sitting on here is the light, so it's not even a big deal at all and you won't even be able to tell it's there. It's, that is amazing. That's really cool. So if you guys wanna get a top for cheap, I bought this plexiglass for like 40 bucks. I had them cut it for me and it's gonna be perfectly fine on top of the aquarium. So if you do wanna get it, you get it at any lows, I'm pretty sure. So what exactly I'm gonna be doing is using all of this water inside of this aquarium right here and all of the fish are gonna be going in there. This water, the same filter, that's all gonna be on the new tank. So it's gonna be like a big water change, except there's gonna be in a bigger tank, basically. So all these fish are gonna be inside of the new aquarium, and then once these peacocks grow a little bit more, probably to four inches, then the Oscars, the albino and the regular Oscar are gonna be going inside of the aquarium with the fish that are already in here. So the first thing I'm gonna be doing is taking this water, putting it inside of this cooler, filling that up, and then putting the fish inside of it, which probably will not be that hard because the gar is gonna be easy to catch, the arowana is gonna be easy to catch, the catfish is gonna be pretty easy to catch, This these guys are gonna be pretty tough is what it's gonna be. What are you guys doing? So right there, I have a decent amount of water out inside of this cooler and now it is gonna be time to take out all of the fish that are in here and put the aerator that is right here, the big air stones, inside of this cooler right here so that these fit. So I think this might be the right time to say this. We're gonna get the fish out now. Thank you. 
There's a gar. First one going in the cooler. Dang, that is a little pretty gar right there. Sorry there's so much flow right there, I'll turn it down. He's gonna be stuck at the bottom right now. Oh! Alright. Swing into the net, buddy. There you go. Cover your hand with the net so they don't jump out. And we're gonna have to close it after this because this air one is a jumpy little sucker. And there we go. We have officially completed getting the fish out of the tank. That is probably the hardest thing that it's gonna be besides getting the huge tank inside of here. But I'm gonna be happy when this thing's done. Let's let's take a look real quick, a quick peek. Whoo! That arowana is pretty. Look at this guy. Look at that. He's probably about 10 inches now. The gar really likes being next to the arowana, but the arowana actually does not like being next to him. I believe that's because arowanas just don't like being really close to other fish besides if it's another arowana because obviously they like to breed. But let's finish getting this tank emptied out. I know it's pretty dirty. You guys probably can't see it right now, but it's pretty dirty in there. Let's finish getting it emptied out, taken out of my room, and then bring the other tank in here. And as I'm taking you guys out of the tank, I think this might be a good time to say, if you have not already subscribed, go down below. Smash that subscribe button. And also, don't leave this video yet, leave a like. If you go and leave a like, and leave a comment down below, I will be liking every single comment on this video. I will be, I swear I will like every single comment on this video if it does not contain bad things said about me, or just bad things said in general. All right, so we got the stand in here. It's actually a little bit smaller than this one, but longer. And this is where the 180 gallon tank is gonna sit. We're actually just gonna siphon the water from this tank into the other tank, or I might just pump it in with the tubing from the other filter. It's gonna barely fit through my door. Tall ways, because we would not be able to fit it through any other way besides that. There we go. And it is in my room now. So set this on the, the yeah. bottom, onto the corner right there, and we're gonna slide it off. Do not put your foot right there, Zach. So you guys got it? Okay. It's fine. Alright. Zach! We have about you guys can't really tell how big it is, but that tank is absolutely massive compared to this one. The 75 gallon looks like it's actually nothing. It feels like it's a 30 gallon right now to me. I just can't even compare or see the size of the 2000 gallon tank that Joey from DIY Fish Keeper, I, I couldn't even imagine. Sorry if my eyes are a little bit too dark right now. <coughs> I went to suck the water through right here and I basically breathed in a whole bunch of water. <coughs> Step one, <coughs> never do that. <coughs> the filter is sucking it out right here, filtering through all the bad stuff that was in here before from underneath the bottom of the decor and pumping it into here. All right, so we got all the water from that tank inside of here. It did about that much, but there's also still water inside of the cooler where the fish are. I cannot take that out just yet. I'm waiting to take that out for the next video when I put the fish inside of the tank. So this is the sand I'm gonna be using. It's quick Crete um, pool filter sand. Let's get started and putting this inside of the tank. I just finished washing it out. What you do is you fill this bucket up with water, you mix your hand around, let it stir, and let the water flow out over the top. I actually just put it on top of the rocks inside of my pond and it looks amazing. It's not fully across the whole entire pond. It looks a little bit more natural since there's sand and then rocks also inside of it, so it's like mixed in with it. 
but let's put this inside of the fish tank and then finish putting the rest of the sand that we need to put in here inside of the tank. So obviously it's a little bit dirty right now, but once the filters are on there for a little bit, it should clear up a lot. And right now, why you guys probably cannot hear me is because it is filling up and hopefully it fills up in a little bit. I'm gonna put the heater on it and let the filters run on the tank, let everything get cycled out. And then once I get back from dinner, I'm gonna put the fish inside of this aquarium right here, which you guys will see in my next video. All right, so the tank is completely full. I have one filter on it. When I get back, I'm gonna be putting this filter on it, the big UV canister filter for this tank. As you can see, a lot of stuff is settled down and it's not as dirty as it was before. So I'm gonna let it run <laughs> for, for probably an hour before I get back. I have the heater on it so it gets to the temperature that I want it to. Two hours later. Finally, after such a long time, it was such a struggle to get this thing running. I swear it probably took me about 20 minutes to get it running, which the other filter literally started running in two minutes. And it's literally, I don't even know why it gave me such a pain. That's what this filter is right here. So we have one of these and then we also have, sorry for this right here. I'm gonna have to get that all tucked up in there. It's gonna look a lot nicer than this. It's not gonna, the only cord you're gonna be able to see is this one. I don't even know why it does that either. And then that filter right there. The Fluval 306 right there, and then this one. That's a beast right there. That's a probably a two foot tall one right there. That's a huge one. Whew. Look at that. And then the 75 just chilling right next to it. I'm gonna have to plant that plant, and then I'll probably get everything finished tomorrow. It's literally probably close to 12 o'clock at night, and I'm pretty tired. I'm still gonna have to put the fish in, so that's gonna be a little bit of a hassle, but you guys are gonna all see that probably in the next few days or probably two days. And um, I also have to get the air strip inside of there, which I'll probably do tonight also, since the fish are gonna need air, so that's what I'm gonna have to do too. But um, yeah, this is where I'm gonna end off the video. I'll show you from on top of my bed, even though my room is a complete mess from this whole project today. But look at this. This thing looks absolutely amazing. I cannot wait to have the fish inside of it. It's gonna look beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll give you a lower look so that you can get a good size. It is absolutely massive. When I tell you, from there to there, it does not look like much, but it's six feet across from right there to right there. So basically this is what I look like next to it. I'm six feet tall. And then this is what it looks like. The new massive aquarium in my room is right here behind me. I couldn't be any more proud with it. Actually, I could be once it's done. <laughs> once I get on um, the little caves inside of it, and then I get probably a few more of these Java ferns that are right here. And then the airstrip is gonna be in the back, which is also gonna make it look just that much better. I, you guys can't even, like, I can't even show you guys this my arms go fully across like this. Exactly like that, that is insane. This thing is massive. Just think about all the other fish tanks that you guys see, people have 300 gallons. But that is where I'm gonna end off today's video. If you have not already, go down below, smash that subscribe button, and also leave a comment down below on what you guys think about my new 180 gallon aquarium inside of my room. But thank you guys for watching and I will see you all in my next video.